just kind of the same sort of story with the Seattle Sounders throughout the course of this year so far. You know, they continue to deal with important injuries throughout the club, and the results largely go in the same direction as well. So we look into it here. March 30th at the LA Galaxy was a one to nothing loss. Down in LA, Seattle remains winless. Uh, they are tied for the worst start to the season in club history in this MLS era, at least I believe it is. But this this was an interesting match as well. There was the Philadelphia match early in the year that's been postponed to a later date. We do have the date for that. Um, but <laughs> I say that I mentioned that match because of the rain in Los Angeles. The rain was somewhat of an impact. I mean, the, in L.A., they were able to scrape a bunch of it off. Obviously, they played this match, um, considering you're seeing a score here. But it was impacted, that is for sure. Uh, the Sounders gave up one goal. It was it was a ball that Stefan Fry really should have saved. Uh, I believe he tried to punch it out. Instead, he kind of slips it, and it goes right by him. Um, and that's the decider. The Sounders really weren't able to create a ton. They did have chances here and there, but they didn't really generate much it's, it's, it's just kind of the same sort of story. Yes, they are missing a few key players, but the continued struggles, um, no one's going to really feel sorry for them. It doesn't feel like they're sounding sorry for themselves. Our player of the match is um, defender Nuhu Nuhu with a 7.9 match rating, which is the best um, in the Sounders lineup. 90 minutes played, one shot, 80% passing, one chance created, one block shot, and three passes into the final third. We go directly into the pre-match injury report here. Uh, four players were out. Two of them were questionable. Uh, the two questionable players, midfielder Zhao Paulo dealing with a hip injury. Uh, we'll talk about him in a second. And then midfielder Obed Vargas with a head injury. He is going through concussion protocol, um, but he's not really available to play just yet, as you note there with him <laughs> not playing at all, uh, being listed as questionable. So there is that. We look at the four players that were out. Reed Baker Whiting continues to be out with a hamstring injury. Ford Leo Chu is out with a knee injury. We'll talk about him as well in a second. Midfielder Pedro de la Vega out with a hamstring injury. And forward Bradilio Rodriguez also out with a hamstring injury. We go to team-related notes over here. Midfielder Zhao Paulo uh, will resume training this upcoming week. But there are some precautions to have about his availability at this current point in time. Uh, the Sounders rained out match versus Philly um, will be rescheduled to April 30th. So there's your update on that Philly game. The match comes three days after the April 27th game at DC United. So the Sounders will likely just stay on the East Coast for that. Um, and then Ford Leo Chu suffered a ligament tear and will miss three to five weeks. So Seattle just continues to get banged up, especially with players who could impact their offensive game. It'll be nice to get Zhao Paulo uh, back into training this upcoming week. But uh, head coach Brian Schmetzer was very clear in stating, hey, you know, this doesn't mean he'll be able to go next week for sure. We want to see where he's at. We don't want to, you know, we want to don't want to. Um, take any chances of sorts we want to be safe with bringing Zhao back so uh, we look ahead here for our Sounders who sit in a zero win three loss two draw record they've got just two points on the year so far uh, sitting in a second to last in all of MLS and dead last in the Western Conference looking ahead the Sounders play April 6th versus CF Montreal with a 7 30 p.m. Pacific time start <laughs> 